On November 16, 2011, the Long Beach State 49ers took on the Pittsburgh Panthers, and unfortunately that tip-off was a sign of things to come for Pitt. Ashton Gibbs gave his usual 100% effort for the Panthers, finishing with 20 points and 4 assists. Great crossover there, really showing that improved ball handling skill. Unfortunately, Gibbs' 20 points came on 8 for 21 shooting, which is not that great, and couldn't make some key shots in the clutch that the Panthers really could have used. Once again, guards are one of the biggest stories for Pitt. Trey Woodall added a solid 17 points, but he also had 5 turnovers and fouled out of the game. Pitt managed to score 76 points, but once again their defense was not that great, allowing 45 points in the first half and Long Beach State to shoot almost 60% for the game. If this fadeaway three at the end of the first half had not rimmed out, the Panthers would have allowed the most points ever in a half against them at the Peterson Event Center. Miscommunication was the name of the game for the Panthers as Trayvon Woodall tries to guard on the inside and Malcolm Gilbert was late to try to block the shot. Once again, the Panthers relied on the three ball to attempt most of their scoring. Their inside production, aside from Nasir Robinson, was severely lacking, besides a block from Birch and an easy layup from Dante. Dante finished the game with only two points and four fouls. Talib Zana had zero points and another four fouls, despite six rebounds. And rebounds, clearly the Panthers are missing Dewan Blair and Gary McGee on the inside. Here, as you can see, everybody's fighting for the ball. Four missed layups by Long Beach State. John Johnson finally comes away and draws the foul on the break. And speaking of Nasir Robinson earlier, the Panthers lost despite a superhuman effort from him. He finished 8 for 12, 19 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal. And he was the Panthers' leader on the floor, trying to start a comeback in the closing minutes of the game. But no matter what he could do, the Panthers just could not stop Long Beach State in transition. And this play right here is the story of the game, with the turnover from Pitt and Long Beach State scoring an easy transition bucket. They outscored Pitt 25-5 to on the fast break, which is absolutely absurd. The Panthers dropped their first non-conference game in six years and 58 games at home at the Peterson Event Center. And the Panthers will look to rebound Tuesday night at 7 p.m. against LaSalle. For Panther Sports Network, I'm Adam Brody.